All right, welcome back. So we just got more of his weapons, or Dante's weapons, for his guns. So I think those, that's technically all of his guns, but you do get, like, an extra, like, rocket launcher, and it just kind of becomes a combined rocket launcher of going in. But that's about it. But I think that's pretty much unmissable. As long as you got the original Kalina Ann and you go forward, you'll get another one. So... Most of the weapons after this are pretty much, honestly, they're they're all unmissable except for that one Kalina and. All right, let's continue on. We'll meet back up at some point. But for now, one foot in front of the other. All right, I don't think there's any or like orbs to get here. I think it's mostly just combat. And pretty much all three of the characters go through these areas. So as long as you just get the, the stuff you need to get, you're good. This is one of those enemies that you want to attack and wants to get his shield down, I think. Using um, Trickster on him is one way to get him down. Wasn't exactly stylish, but it got the job done. The one thing with Devil Sword Dante is if you keep pressing circle while you're attacking with it, uh, these like little formation swords come out. Oh man, I was going to try to build up to do a send DT. I think you can use those blades at just the right moment, and you can like use his uh, stinger and make it so the enemies stay close too, but I think it depends how close you are. I'm just gonna do it. I don't know. I'm gonna destroy some of these dudes real quick. It's kind of like an easy and a way to kill everything, and it's super stylish regardless, I think. But for the most part, like, no matter what you do. There's really no collectibles, I don't think, here in this mission. I can smell that piece 
piece of shit from up here. He needs to be flushed. They're all doing it at the same time. <laughs> that ought to stop, put a stop to it. Oh my gosh. I've always had trouble when there's this many of them. Come on, there we are. I couldn't even get up before they did it that time. Keep forgetting what uh, for Devil Sword Sparta, the uh, way you do the down attack is different, and I was getting used to the other way to do it. I need to start destroying this. They just kept coming back, I think, was part of the problem. Actually, no, it hit me there.
I think somewhere here there's like extra health and stuff. Yeah, right here. And then I think that's pretty much it. There's just kind of a little area for like three people to play together on the mission. Looks like we still got a long ways to go. Wait, I still got an S rank despite getting hurt as much as I did. I don't know. Okay, so now we're V again, and I might try to get certain abilities that I've sort of avoided here, because this is actually, actually I think this is his hardest mission that you have to deal with him, and I'll show you why here in a bit. You know what, I'm going to go for... Probably a green and white gainer here. So pretty much if I kill enemies now, their chances of dropping green orbs and white orbs increase a lot more. As long as Nightmare is active. Which could let you stay in DT longer or just get more health back. I think for now, that's about the best we can do. Damn it. A little longer. Hold on just a little longer. Losing my power. Got to recover somehow. So, there's a trick, couple tricks to get up here. There's a way to teleport up there, sort of. I think you can like wall jump and teleport a little bit. I'm pretty sure there's a way to do it. It's a little complicated.
Another way to just really easily do it, I think. They say it's possible to do it like this, but one of the other easier ways to do it is to simply like free Griffin forest, and then you can just glide across. And I think that's probably is probably the way that I'm going to end up doing this. Okay, so you pretty much have to refight a lot of these bosses. I'd say what you're gonna wanna do is d do the uh, Goliath fight. So in this one, you're technically fighting the Goliath, but as V this time instead of Nero. And you can tell uh, V's not entirely <laughs> a good, he's like not very strong right now. This is where they are. So just get Shadow first. I mean, it almost feels like you kind of have to get him first, just because how else are you going to like attack things? If you, are you just going to Thunderbolt everybody? Plus, having Shadow gives you back your dodge, like side dodge techniques and stuff. I didn't want him to hurt uh, Shadow there. Crap. This is also kind of why I got that one ability that lets you recover him quicker. So I've never been quite sure how you activate certain abilities with with sh Shadow, like the one where he shoots the spikes up at them and everything. I've never been quite certain how you actually get that to happen on purpose. It seems like there's like special circumstances surrounding it a lot of time. See, that seems to get him most of the time. I'd say just try to recover him as fast as you can. If you can stop yourself from dying like the way that I just did, that's fine. Oh my gosh, he just, he's really going for Shadow there, honestly. So you're kind of getting closer to unlocking, like, certain, like, your way out. And here's the thing with, with doing this, is you're probably going to want to do it from right to left. If you do this one next, I suggest just getting um, Griffin. That way you have his full, t full attack set. And then when you do the final fight, you'll just be able to get... 
Well, you'll be able to get his final... Like, Nightmare. You'll be able to get Nightmare back. The best way to put it, you'll get Nightmare back. You'll be able to easily destroy the final boss. And I honestly think he's probably one of the harder enemies. This enemy, as long as you have both Griffin and Shadow, I don't really think you'll have too much of a trouble with it, really. And Griffin does a ton of damage towards this enemy. The little spike attack does a ton of damage to her if you can if you can learn how to get Shadow to do it. That too, I think. Boom. So I like the little animation they gave her him there to defeat her. And that was Artemis. Now I believe now that you have Griffin, you can technically go right here. And there's a way you can just kind of glide to where you need to go. See? And there's the first one for that mission. And so that's the only one I believe it's in the shadow area, I think. So now you'll get Nightmare and it'll make you fight the final like, boss, I think, for him. Which, you all remember, you fought the, this Nilo Angelo type boss. Yeah, pretty much he's Nilo Angelo. But, you're fighting him with V this time. Like, Nilo Cavalier Angelo. Now you're pretty much back to full power with with V at this point. Honestly, that finisher there is freaking sick. So the areas here are a little tricky to get the uh, 
the orbs that you want to get. They're safe. Think. No time to worry about them, Gotta hurry. This first one, I think you want to destroy this first. And then when you come around here, I believe there's a spot right here you want to drop off. And here's the purple orb. Like the fragment for it. So I believe, yeah, right here, secret mission 10. So as soon as you hit those roots, you just do this and you get secret mission 10. So, honestly, in my personal opinion, I feel like I kind of sucked in that mission even though I got an S, but it's probably just because of how bad I felt like I did against my fight with Goliath, but like I've done a lot better at before on that mission, but still got the S rank, doing pretty good I guess. Hope you enjoyed the uh, video. Uh, like and subscribe. And you will see more. Have a good day.